everyone, Fountain Pen Writing here with a new Fountain Pen review. Today we are going to take a look at the Narval Yellow Tang. Let's start. The pen arrives in this simple cardboard box with the logo on the top and name on the side written with rainbow font. Open the box and there is the pen. The new models have a small wrench to open the piston filling mechanism, but this is the first model, the original and the wrench is not provided. The pen is a piston filler, so there are no cartridges. Let's take a look at the pen. The pen is flat top and it is made of translucent acrylic with nice ribbon all over the pen. On the top of the cap there is a simple rounded metal insert. And the clip has a nice profile and it is sturdy and workable. The cap angles up by two thirds of its length and then angles back down until this rounded step. There is a metal band with the name Narval on it and apparently the direction of the band is random. The barrel starts straight and then tapers down slightly until this second metal band that divides the barrel from the piston knob. As you can see, the barrel cap piston knob are made of the same ribbon acrylic. The piston is very smooth and it is made of plastic. It seems well designed and constructed. The cap twisted off in one and three quarters turns and reveals the stainless steel number no. six nib made in house from the company. You can see the nice logo of the company on the nib and the name Narval. The nib is a part of a nib unit that can be unscrewed and makes it really easy to clean the pen. The original models were initially equipped only with fine or medium nibs, but today it is possible to have broad and double broad nibs. This particular model is equipped with a fine nib, but it writes more like a medium fine rather than a fine. We will see it during the writing sample. And this is the plastic feed. The section made of the same acrylic as the rest of the pen, shows a slight flaring and then it angles up to the cap threads that are not neither sharp nor uncomfortable if you hold your pen so high. Now let's take a look at the measurements of the pen and compare it with other fountain pens. The Narval original tongue is a full size fountain pen, slim with a nice shape. Capped, it is longer than the Lamy Safari and almost of the same dimension of the Pilot HU3. Uncapped, the pen is longer than the Platinum and the Lamy Safari and practically of the same length of the Pilot. The pen is not designed to be posted. In the hand the pen is comfortable, well balanced, with a section that fits everyone with hands neither too small nor too large. It is light and the acrylic feels of a good quality, not like the cheap plastic of most uh, Chinese pens. The length and thickness is just fine. All in pens seems made on average, but very well made. I have chosen to use the simple italic script for this writing sample and you can see that the nib designed as fine leaves on the paper a slightly thicker line, I would say a medium fine. I tuned this nib on micromesh because I didn't like the very peculiar feedback provided from the nib. It was strange, it had a unique feedback, almost unpleasant, even after the micromesh and initially it was a little bit too dry for my tests so I hope it slightly the times. As always, for all my writing samples, I use the Waterman Blue to get a consistent comparison between the nibs to see if they are dry or wet. After my tuning, uh, the feedback is much more pleasant, but not yet as I would like. The nib is stainless steel and is rigid, so there is no sense in pushing the nib to flex it.
Overall, this Nuzzle pen is very well made. The production is open sourced to China, but the specification and the tolerance are virtually perfect. The piston filling mechanism makes this pen very appealing for the price. You can find the original models around $45-$50. Dollars. Oh. The yellow ribbon in acrylic is attractive and fits well with the yellow bands and clip. Everything is average, but well made. But that's, let's say, the problem. This pen is average. The ribboning acrylic, nib, side, shape, everything is well made, but uh, it remains average. Definitively a good start point for those interested in starting to use a fountain pen. The only concern regards the nib. I don't know if it was mine with that strange feedback and a bit too dry. Maybe a medium or a broad would be a better choice. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please consider leaving a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.